Hello, my friends. In this modeling project, I am building a multi-part project of the Tornado GR1 IDS in scale 1 to 48 for Metallery. The following project is inspired by real events. I combine the two cockpit pieces but because of my modifications, there are many gaps. Plastic putty to the rescue. Attention! Keep always in mind that after gluing, painting, etc., to let things dry. Also, I will be fixing the gaps with plastic putty. Most of the time, off camera. Combining the parts of the fuselage below the wings. gluing these pieces here but the kit doesn't seem to have a physical guide, so I have to rely on the manual, and my understanding of it. I think because the wings can be opened, or closed, I should not glue these pieces, but melt them in place, like so. Gluing the upper and lower wing parts. More wings work.
assembling the twin engine. Back to wing work. Attach this little piece here. Some more. Unfortunately had to remove the seats and placed masking tape for better painting. Also, on the nose, Italeri suggests 30 grams weight. I added this metallic piece, attaching. Engine intakes, which at least on my kit, they have few flaws. Are gray primer. Going for version F on the manual. Ghost Gray. I placed masking tape on these parts of the swing wings. The manual suggests gray for these spots, but I made a mix of metallic gray to showcase the wear of the swing wings. Airbrushing for a bit. Repeating the previous melting method. Attached the swing wings, adding the rest. Added 
put these papers on the wings to protect their painting for when I will be painting the rest of the aircraft, attaching the cockpit and then the fin. engine intakes onto the landing gear system Prepared special copper wire for jewelry 0.6 mm and small pieces of a wire. Super gluing for enhanced details on the landing gear system. Same process, but with wire of 0.3 millimeters. added more, off-camera, and doing more details. Taking care of the excess plastic putty and gluing. Attaching the retractable, removable, refueling probe. German pans are gray primer.
white, two coatings, one off camera. At this point, I want to explain a few things. I made a terrible mistake when I was making the cockpit because I didn't notice that the kit had its own version of the three screens that I created on my own way. Basically, I had to take away the kit's version, or mine, and in the end, I removed mine. However, after I will finish the paint job, I will add some cables for additional detail to the otherwise good cockpit for Metallery. Back here, I attached the covers, and on the bottom of the fuselage, I added some masking tape camera, painted with flat black the nose, and put some masking tape there. Airbrushing with light ghost gray. It is heavily diluted, because I want to keep some spots darker. We'll do two, maybe three coatings. Gray air brushing.
On the lighter areas of the tornado, although I painted with light ghost gray, I need to do one more coating. As you can see on the manual, my dark gray areas are just fine, but the light gray ones, I clearly need to fix them. Airbrushing Hopefully you like the project, and please be patient for the release of its presentation. Because I love this amazing art, and I strive to be better, please do help me by sharing your words of wisdom in the comments below. To be continued. Hit the like, subscribe, and notifications bell buttons. This way, together, we can grow a community around the exciting art of scale modeling. Stay tuned for more tornado-inspired content, as well as, for more scale modeling videos. Thanks for watching.